Hi, Annie. Hi, Claire. How are you? Good, good. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, yes. Hmm. So, what's on the menu today? What are we going to talk about? Anything but Coca-Cola. Why? Do you think it might influence people? <gasps> okay, let's talk about football. That doesn't have any influence on people. No, no. Football is football's like this obscure thing that happens. You mean you haven't been, you haven't been glued to your, your television? You haven't had like two PCRs a day just to make sure that you can go to watch all these football <laughs> matches and be, and be there? I mean, you know. I don't even know if my television has football, and I'm okay with that. Okay, okay. so let, let's, 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 let's take it back to football again, okay? Let's talk okay. about football again. Okay, okay let's yeah? talk about football. Let's talk about football and Coca-Cola. Why, why, why do we, would we talk about football and Coca-Cola and influence? Because we're talking about influence. Yeah, okay, so I, I don't watch football, as, as I just mentioned, um, but I do know what's happening around the game of football. Okay. All right, so let me explain. There is this football player who makes what we would say a crap load of money. Yeah. Right? And um, Does a pair he for Alaves? No, he oh, doesn't. Oh, oh, sorry. No, he doesn't. His name is Ronaldo. Oh, right. I think right? I right, think right. you might have heard of him. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. because even though I don't know anything about football, I yeah. do know that there's there's this man named Ronaldo who makes like 31 million a year. And he was sitting down for a press conference with a can of Coca-Cola in front of him or a bottle of Coca-Cola. And he decided to move it and tell his audience to drink more water. Okay. So that was his influence over his uh, followers or whatever, no? And, well, and, the there, and what exactly did that influence do? It, well, there's more to the story, <laughs> right? So not only does this man who makes crap loads of money tell everyone not to drink Coca-Cola, but to drink more water, but then it has a five billion impact on Coca-Cola. Are you serious? I am totally serious, Claire. But surely those uh, Coca-Cola are his, his boss, no? Because sponsors are the people who pay the, the, this 31 million to all these players. Well, surely. I mean, what, were, Part were, of the were, money. were his friends annoyed? Were his fellow players annoyed? Were Coca-Cola I... annoyed? Or, or, or just everybody's just a big... Inf who, who's the bigger influencer here? Coca-Cola, Ronaldo? It's a bit... Well, I'm sure his team... I don't know enough about football or this story <laughs> other than that. But I'm sure his team gets... A hit from that. I mean, or or maybe like if the Coca Cola decides not to sponsor them, I'm sure that will affect their whole team. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might be down a few uh, billion himself. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, yeah. I would kind of hope. I have to admit because I think the oh, fact that he makes thirty one million oh, a year is just, a bit too much. But exactly. Yeah. yeah. But um. But anyway, it's interesting the influence, the influence that this man has. Okay. And football. Let's go back to football again, okay? Okay, fine. Because you know what? It's important. It, it's influential. It is. It's happening this month, like, yeah? Yeah. So there was a, 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 as I say, I wasn't watching matches either, like, yeah? Yeah. But again, the world around football, I did get wind of a few things. Mm. Uh, June, as you know, is uh, LGBTQ month. Um, and uh, there was a match in between Germany and Hungary. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, at the same time, the Prime Minister, uh, a law has been, or a decree has been passed, like where you're, they're not allowed to depict or promote homosexualities or anything homosexual on to under 18s. And it's part of a law against uh, paedophiles. You know, you can what? connect. What? You, 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 can you not connect, connect the two, no? I cannot connect the you two. Can't connect Wait, the, what? Right, okay, okay, right. In, in Hungary, it's, it's believed, and this is kind of the law, like because of this, is that, uh, you know, if two people meet, now, especially if they're the same sex, that's okay. sweet. It's not healthy, no, okay? So they meet, you know, <laughs> God forbid they fall in love. Okay. Set up a house. And they might even adopt children. Right, you know? right. Okay, no, no. Because what they really are are paedophiles. Oh, clear. That's why I know it's just sad, sad reality. Anyway, back to football. Let's go. No, no, no. I can't even I talk know, about I know, that topic. I know, because it's not funny. It's not. No, uh, unfortunately, it's, it's, not. Not. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. So let's go back to football. Okay. So because yeah, football, go back to football okay, because I football influences. Prefer, I prefer I know, football I know, in that conversation. But football influences things. You see. So there was a match between Germany and Hungary around the same time with this uh, crazy decree, whatever was passed, and the match was in Munich. Okay. Right. And they wanted to, uh, like they've done in other stadiums, I think they wanted to paint it pink or, or, or light, it, light it up pink. Okay. And uh, UEFA said no, because it was kind of a political statement. Oh. And, and again, don't, don't, don't hold me to exactly, but it was something along those lines. 
Yeah. Uh, so because it was too political, no? Then there was a, a, a German um, goalkeeper, I think, who had a, a, a band on his arm. Uh-huh. Again, with the LBGTQ uh, support or whatever. And uh, they're going to decide now whether that uh, is too political, like, you know? Really? So, yeah. So what do you do? Get, get down on two knees? <laughs> well, you this know, is interesting we, because, we, like... We'll be a knee for this, a knee for this. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're we're going to have to start doing, like, hand gestures, I, you know? Yeah, like, it's, it's... But it's sad, it's a sad, it's not funny, it, it, but it's a sad reality, no? And again, what are we talking about? We're talking about football. Well, I'm, I'm, I have to admit that I'm kind of surprised that the stadium wasn't allowed to to be kind of, like, lit up in different colors or lit up in pink. I mean, that, that seems, um, that seems like too much. Yeah, and I think, I think UEFA, they did have something in their own, they tweeted something or they had some, they had a, they, they, the they flag or something. They flag, flag, yes, yes, and people asked them, I know that because I read, <laughs> I did read that. It, it it said something about how they are allowed to do that because it's not a political statement. Like being promoting, just don't light it up. Just don't light it up in in the stadium in Munich because Hungary are playing. Let's not offend them. So, who influences who? Who are the influencers? Are you being influenced? Are you an influencer? Well, I think the point is we can't decide who is the influencer. Like in the topics we were talking about today, it could be one person, it could be a stadium, it could be a country, it could be a political issue, it could be... I know, I know. Yeah. So, much, so much for independence. Oh, yeah, huh? well, exactly. So for, yeah, That's yeah. the problem. We're all influencing ourselves going round in circles, no? I wish... We're being we... influenced by the wrong people. Well, that's the thing. I wish we could, like, pick the right person with the right message. <laughs> that's called religion, Annie. Oh, my God. We'll talk about that another day. <laughs> anyway, it's been a great chat about football. It's been wonderful. It's been so influential. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, see you next month. See you next month. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.